Okay guys, so I'm back with another video and this one is very special to me because it brings back a lot of childhood memories of going to McDonald's, having one of the very best items on their dessert menu, which are the fried apple pies. Well, that's the way they used to make them, but now they bake them, but the fried ones were so much better. So, okay guys, here's all of what you will be needing to make this dessert. And if you've never tried it, hopefully you'll give this recipe a try so you can know what it was like back then in the, the 80s and early 90s. So here I have a bowl with some cool water and some freshly squeezed lemon juice. That's for after we peel our apples. We're going to put them in there so that they don't turn a brownish color. So here are four Granny Smith apples. And here is two tablespoons of lemon juice. Here I have one tablespoon of cornstarch. That's going to be for later use to thicken up our uh, apple cinnamon sauce. Here I have a stick of unsalted butter, but I'm only going to be using two tablespoons from that. Here I have a half a cup of white sugar and one and a half teaspoon of cinnamon, which will be for later use also to sprinkle onto the uh, fried apple pies after they are done. I have some vanilla here. For the vanilla, I'm only going to be using two and a half teaspoons of that. Back here, I have the pastry puff sheets. You'll see how we will be using those. Here, I have a half a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and one tablespoon and a half of white sugar. And over here, I have a half a teaspoon of allspice. All right, guys, so let's get this going. I'm going to start out by peeling and cutting these apples. I'm going to clear the area so we can do so. Then we'll get to making our apple filling. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to be peeling these apples. And then I will finish and move on to the next step of making these. So you want to start out by getting the skin removed off of these. So guys, as I cut them, I'm going to peel them and place them in our lemon water because I don't want to wait. Now you just want to go down the sides but stay far away from the core. That's how you're not going to have to be bothered with removing the core. See? And if you want to eat that, you can. See? <laughs> okay, so for cutting them, this is going to go down the middle of one of the halves. Because remember, you want your pieces to be very small. You don't want big chunks. You're not making an actual regular sized apple pie. Just want some small cubes. See, not this size. Probably looks much bigger on camera, but trust me, they're not big at all. So I'm gonna place the first cut ones in there. Get these out of the way. All right, so I'll give you guys another example. Right down that middle. Whoa. Okay. Get all those in there. And let me just show you how they look inside of the water. Yeah. 
So I did get a little bit of that core in there. And that's okay, because that's all I had to do to remove it. Okay, right down the middle. Okay, into the water. Okay guys, so that was my example of how I will be getting these apples to the desired size for these apple pie fillers. So I'm gonna do the rest of these and I'll be right back when it's time to start cooking these apples. All right, so our apples are done and here's what they look like. So now what you wanna do is drain this water off of them and immediately get them to the stove so they can begin the cooking process. So in the, the pan that I'm gonna be using, I'm just gonna be using about two and a half tablespoons of this butter just to get it melted. Then we're gonna add our apples and the rest of the spices. All right guys, so here's our two and a half tablespoons of butter. Let that melt, then we're gonna immediately follow that with our apples. Now I'm going to go in with our spices that I showed you guys earlier. And also the lemon juice. Just going to get this all mixed up. We're going to let that cook down. Okay, so guys, after I get this mixed all in, I'm going to cover this for about 10 minutes just so these apples can sweat themselves down inside of this beautiful sauce that we're making. Then we're gonna go in with our cornstarch and water to make the, the sauce. All right guys, so I'm going, wow, this smells amazing. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm going to cover this for about 10 minutes just so that the apples can cook down into the sauce. And I'll be right back. Oh guys, but before we go, I have to add the two and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I almost forgot. And here we go. And that's two. And that's a half. Let's get that mixed in there. This smells so good. Okay, now our apples are completed. With the All right, guys, so our apples are exactly where I need them to be. You see, they sweated out and created extra liquid. So that is perfect. So to that one tablespoon of cornstarch that I showed you guys earlier, you want to add two tablespoons of water. And this is going to create the sauce that we have to be thickened. And it also is better than using flour to me, so you don't, because it won't compromise the uh, the flavor. And at this time, you want to turn your heat off, because this doesn't need to cook anymore. All right, guys. So I'm gonna let this cool down. And then we will add these to our pastry sheets, and then we'll get to frying. Okay, guys. So let's get these puff pastry sheets ready. Our apple pie filling mix is cooled already. So let's get these together. I'm gonna be working on parchment paper because it won't stick to it. Okay, so we got one off. Let's open that up. Trash this. So these basically already have like the lines on it already. Oh, 
Okay. I'm just going to leave them in place and work just the way they are. Okay, so we got that cut. So I'm going to get our apple pie filling right now. And I have my oil preheating right now so that we can get these pies fried up. Here's our mix. Okay, so what I'm going to do is fill it halfway down with our fabulous mix. And try not to bring it all the way to the edge because you won't be able to seal it when it's time. That's good enough. So let's bring this down. And that is perfect. Give it a little press on the sides. And when these are room temperature, they stick better. So if you are doing this, you probably won't need to add any gluing agent like flour and water so I'm able to crimp my sides now because I don't have to use a gluing agent Let's give that a light press make sure that it's stuck together and you want to press and pull well drag try not to press too hard because you don't want to puncture where the pie filling is because you don't want that to come out when it's frying. So we got our first pot made, y'all. So I'm just gonna trim off the excess sides. That we won't be using just to make it look a little neater and clean. Oh. Mm Okay, we got our first pie. So I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna move on back. But guys, if you aren't frying these and you are preferring to uh, bake them, what you will wanna do is put three slits on them so that they can breathe, so that they don't explode. But for now, I'll be right back when all of these are completed and we'll get to frying. Okay guys, so I finished our six pies out of the two sheets of uh, puff pastry dough. So. Let's head to the stove so we can get these guys fried up. Okay, guys, so our oil is hot enough. Let's go in with our first pie. I remember, lay it away from you. Gonna do two at a time. Ah. gonna let these fry until they're golden brown then we're gonna take them out and hit them with our cinnamon and sugar mix I'm not putting them on paper towel I'm gonna put it on a cooling rack looks like it's time to flip you got a nice golden brown color on the side if you were deep frying these you don't have to worry about that they're gonna cook all at once Give you guys a close up. See that? That's the color that you want. You don't want it to be too dark. All right, so as soon as it's time for these to come out, we're gonna hit it with that sugar, don't forget. These are done. Nice and golden brown. Beautiful pie, beautiful pie. So I'm gonna set them on a cooling rack. 
and immediately hit them with some cinnamon sugar. All right, it's still hot, so here's this process goes. Guys, you want to make sure you do this while it's still hot so it can stick to it. Wow, this smells amazing. Wow. I'm excited about this. All right, let's turn these over. And you can put as little or as much as you like. When it comes to this part, guys, I already dropped two more in. Seems like a lot, but it's not. Because this is just going to melt right in. All right, let's flip our second ones. Ooh-wee. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, guys, so I'm going to continue to fry these. And then I got two more to go. And I'm going to do the same exact thing with the cinnamon sugar. And then after that, we'll be ready to try these out and see how we did. Guys, look at these. These are our finished McDonald's apple pies. They look amazing. You know what we get ready to do? Let's plate them and try them. All right, guys. So we are at the final part of this video. So... Here are our amazing McDonald's fried apple pies, like back in the days. I'm gonna put a couple of them on here. Let's let them look a little pretty. Wow, oh, these things smell amazing. Oh my Lord. So let's do the honors. These things are very Flaky and crunchy. Look at the insides of that. Wow. And it's still very hot. So let's try one. Oh my God. Wow. You guys got to try this. <laughs> I have to put this down because it's way too hot. Wow. Those are very good. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm definitely impressed. So guys, if you haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notifications. Make sure that you are being notified when I do post a video so you can continue to get these great recipes. Wow, this was good. Check that out, guys. You guys got to try this. Flaky, crispy, flavorful. The apples are the exact texture that they need to be. All right, guys, so that's it for now. See you in the next video.